everyone, Werewitch here with Harry, who has promised to keep his comments to a minimum for these quick tip videos. Uh, what did I promise to? Let's get straight to the tips. Okay, so here's the first thing. I know you're frustrated. If you're already watching this, you're looking for help. I want you to know that you've got this. You can do this. In V Rising, the boss fights test your understanding of the game and how well you can apply this knowledge to the fight. The following checklist will add as much weight with your gained know-how to tip the scales in your favor. What one method used for beating a V-Blood may have worked great, may not work for another. It's a matter of finding out what you're missing. Let's go over the checklist together. Do you have the highest possible blood percentage available to you? Does it synergize with your gear or spell loadout? Should it even synergize? Or do you need to go with the more balanced approach? Are you using any crafted or merchant bought potions, any enchanted brew, potion of ferocity, or the best healing potion available? Have you beat all the bosses previous to this one? Have you tried taking out another boss level adjacent, or even a higher boss that you can beat that might unlock a component to make better gear? Have you attempted the fight during a blood moon to gain a little extra damage? Or have you encountered the fight during the day when you should have fought it at night? Are you using the environment to your advantage? And I do mean everything. Is there a boulder, a rock, a nearby monster, a tree, a pack of nearby wolves that could distract a wandering boss for you to get a couple more hits in? Have you tried a different spell loadout, a different weapon or armor? The time you take now to learn other skills will pay dividends at a later boss fight, or all of them. Can you unlock gear or item recipes on your research, study, or Athenaeum? You can also buy missing recipes for merchants as well. Okay, one last thing. Repetition is key. Keep trying. You may pick up on mechanics that I or someone else might miss. If you keep trying and learn something, anything from your attempts, then you aren't failing. You're just learning where to place the knife. Do not give up. We believe in you. Yeah. If Witch can do it, you definitely can. So that's the checklist. Let's look at the fight. We are currently wearing the Dark Magus armor full set. We are going to be using Merciless Iron Pistols, Iron Sword, and Iron Mace. We uh, currently have our Brew Ferocity buff on and our Enchanted Brew on. We will be using uh, Blood Rose Potions along with the Brews. Uh, let's jump into Spell Loadout. Oh, oh. Okay, so we've got the Veil of Chaos on. I really like this one. You need lots of good movement for this fight to get away from him, uh, which I'll fail at. Um, I have the uh, Jewel Tier 2 on. Can't do 3 without Dark Silver. So these are just tier two jewels. Uh, spawns a second illusion when recasting, dealing 60% of the original damage. Increases damage done when an illusion explodes by 24%. Wraith Spear is another thing that we're using here. Increases damage by 12%. Increases projectile range by 21%. He's going to be bouncing all over the place. And uh, I really like Wraith Spear. I think it's a good heavy hitter. And if you're using high scholar bloods, you're going to be getting those free casts. I don't know if that's going to be happening today. Uh, purposefully, I'm not using my 100% blood. I found a 74 uh, over near our base, 74 Scholar. Um, so we're not going to be getting that 15% chance to reset spell cooldown on cast. And we're not going to have the boosted uh, effects. I'm doing this to kind of like drop my gear score in a sense. Because at this point, you can start um, farming... Uh, Stygian shards over in Mortium and unlocking your first passives for your clan which we'll look at shortly after the fight okay continuing on we have uh, Phantom Aegis on increases target spell power by 19% while the barrier lasts knocks targets back 1.8 meters on hit uh, this is more more or less just for protection he's got a lot of projectiles this is what i like to use there's other ways around this there's plenty of different ways to skin these cats but this is the way that i'm doing and finally i'm going to be using crimson beam mainly because i like to get my health up and it does a good amount of damage okay let's get in there and see how we do 
Okay, one thing too, you want to make sure that you clear these guys out. These are all pats, and they can come right through while you're fighting. So, I'd advise you to clear this entire place out as fast as you can. Hopefully we got most of our ads down. Um, before you go into a boss fight, make sure that you heal up. If you've got plenty of blood, do a blood mend. If you don't have plenty of blood, uh, use a pot. In my case, it's 74. Plenty of it. So we're going to make sure that our health is where it needs to be at. Once again, we've got our brews up and going. Let's see how we do. Hmm. Another monster I have to deal with myself. Already getting thrown around the fight. We're gonna do our best to dodge him, but I am terrible at Octavian. I don't like him. I feel like he just knocks me around, and I do a terrible job against him. To me. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start worrying about these ads. Try to scoop as many as we can with the Wraith Sphere as we're using it. If we can get those good lineups, try to put them in a row. Make sure that you heal and heal as often as you possibly can. Yeah, we saw that one coming, didn't we? Just getting wrecked right now. Alright, let's pop them with our ultimate. Try to get our health back. Yeah, not that time, big boy. Up. Oh, shouldn't have talked shit, huh? To me. Yeah. That's fine. We've got him. And that finished him off. So the biggest thing there is save your veils, I think. Save those. Just try to move on your own to get out of the ways, uh, out of the way of projectiles, attacks. Take care of the ads, but don't give them everything that you've got. Things that pierce are very helpful here. Um, I, I, I'm in love with Phantom Aegis. I think it's great. You can throw it on your team members. You can throw it on yourself. And if you get a decent jewel in it, it really does help. Crimson Beams, awesome. I'm pretty sure that you can have that for this fight. If I'm wrong about that, I probably would have gone with Chaos Barrage. Uh, either or would do it. Um, I just like the little bit of health that you get here from Crimson Beam. Uh, you can go with about any weapon. Anything that can give you some iframes too. You know, I could have easily gotten out of the way of some things by using the mace, but I've gotten lazy. You should not be lazy if you're having issues with this fight. Um, and I think that's about it. Okay, let's head back to the base and I will show you guys the Stygian altar. Okay, we are back here at the castle. I'm gonna show you guys the Stygian altar. Of, uh, altar of Stygian Awakening, excuse me. And here are the passive abilities that you can unlock um, once you start gaining your Stygian shards from Mortium. Uh, if you're having issues with bosses, um, these passives can really help you. Uh, be very picky in what order. I wouldn't just go straight down the line as you unlock these. Make sure you look over them. If you're not using a lot of ice, well, then that should be... or, or um, Yeah, ice spells. I, I would not choose that one until the very end. If you even get that at all. Like, you may need to jump forward. It's all going to depend on what's going on with, you know, are you on a PvP server? That can change everything that I'm saying. So, um, yeah. These things are very helpful. That's why I try to, like, get myself a little bit before some of these fights, because we have this stuff unlocked. Okay, so that was it, guys. If this helped you out, slap that like button, subscribe, or just leave us a comment below. Harry and I will get back with you as soon as we're available. We have lots of content with tips like these peppered in, and more videos like this one for the games we play here at the project. We love having your company. 
which doesn't have very many friends, and its current group is less than desirable. That would include you too, Harry. <sighs> Thanks for watching. See you later.